In the realm where elegance meets opulence, where craftsmanship intertwines with brilliance, we proudly present the High Jewelry Collection 2023, a symphony of sophistication and timeless allure. Each piece is a masterpiece, meticulously crafted by skilled artisans who breathe life into precious metals and gemstones, transforming them into works of art that transcend time and captivate the senses. Indulge in a journey through the essence of luxury, where tradition meets innovation. Our 2023 collection is a celebration of heritage and a glimpse into the future of high jewelry. From the runway to your collection, embrace the allure of these exceptional creations. Every piece tells a story, a narrative of grace, sophistication, and the enduring legacy of unparalleled craftsmanship. Welcome to the High Jewelry Collection 2023, a testament to the artistry that transcends the ordinary, inviting you to experience the extraordinary. Elevate your moments with timeless elegance. Louis Vuitton Destiny Necklace from Spirit Part 2. The second chapter of the Spirit Collection, first unveiled in June last year, is articulated around four themes, echoing the guiding principle of the house of Louis Vuitton. Destiny, liberty, fantasy, and radiance, each associated with an emblematic stone, ruby, emerald, diamond, and mandarin specitite garnet. The power emanating from the gems, especially the 34 rubies tipping the edges of a geometric collar, is irresistible. I don't think anything else in the world has the power to hold the spirit of the person so much as jewellery does, says creative director Francesca Amphitheatrov, who believes that jewellery and its wearer are inextricably linked. Mikimoto's latest high jewellery collection pays homage to the brand's origin. Praise to the Sea was announced on July 2023 during Paris Haute Couture Week at the Mikimoto Paris Boutique, where numerous pieces from the collection were showcased. Its unveiling also commemorates the 130th anniversary of Mikimoto founder Kokichi Mikimoto creating the world's first cultured pearls. The brand released an anniversary collection earlier this year. Mikimoto said inspiration for praise to the sea came from the majestic waters of the ocean. Its designs mimic scenes like light on the water's surface, the gradation of color from shallow water to the ocean's depths, and clusters of fish in the open sea. The curves created by schools of fish elegantly navigating the sea inspired a necklace featuring Akoya cultured pearls, along with a variety of gemstones including diamond, beryl, tanzanite, tourmaline, amethyst, garnet, sapphire, spinel, alexandrite, and aquamarine. The corresponding ring and earrings feature white South Sea pearls, with the earrings also displaying a variety of cool-toned colored gems. A designer's note reveals the sapphire and alexandrite were chosen to depict fish of various colors clustered together while gracefully swimming in circles. Bucciolati Vertical Bar Mosaico High Jewelry Collection. Bacciolati's goldsmith traditions and the great skill of the craftsmen who execute these creations are brought to the highest expression in the Mosaico collection by a unique and inimitable creativity. Redolent of Renaissance aesthetics, the Macri collection is quintessentially Bucciolati with its idiosyncratic use of gold, engraving techniques such as regato and ornato. In this new colorful reinterpretation, zesty blue zircons, juicy garnets, and mystical amethysts jazz up iconic foliage patterns made of yellow and white gold, injecting the design with a heady dose of vitality. The oval button earrings set with two graceful cabochon moonstones embraced by an ornate bezel interspersed with emeralds manifest Bucciolati's vision of poised and confident elegance.
the third chapter of Gucci's Hortus Delicarum High Jewelry Collection. Gucci has undergone many transformations since its founding over 100 years ago, but it has always stood by its faith in maximalism. Gucci's credo, transposed to fine jewelry, is expressed through lyrical hymns made of gems of intriguing colors and cosmic size. Hue an immense 100-carat crystalline cerulean aquamarine embraced by an enameled bezel hanging from a long, chunky chain. Majestic, magnetic amethysts and powerful peridots in other power-oozing collars seem to have been passed down to Gucci's atelier directly from former Florence's patron, Lorenzo the Magnificent. Le voyage recommencé. A journey through the Maison Savoir Fair and creative explorations experienced through the light of a new vision. Every year, Cartier unveils new collections. Developed around unique stones and confirmed themes, they showcase the Maison's passion for gemstones, its mastery of design, outstanding expertise, and complete creative freedom. At Cartier, Beauté du Monde rises as a poetic paean to our planet's polychromatic and polyhedric beauties at the intersection between abstraction and real-like representation. Known gems of unusual hues, such as grey turquoise jade or pale rubellites, unveil the most intimate details of Mother Nature's charm. An example of this dazzling and uber-elegant collection is the Ocel necklace depicting a bird's plumage with opals and emeralds in Cartier's signature color palette mixing blue and green, known as the peacock motif. High jewelry at Graf is written in capital letters and taken to its most literal meaning. Here, there's only place for the big four gems of jewelry, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. Yet nothing can prepare you for Graf's more is more unexpected majestic mashups. So, take a deep breath and admire this 50 carat D flawless oval diamond seemingly floating among 100 carats of pear, emerald, oval, round, and baguette cut diamonds surrounding it. Dior's Dearest Dior High Jewelry Collection. Since joining Dior in 1998 to design fine jewelry, creative director Victoire de Castellan has entertained an imaginary correspondence with the house's founder, Christian Dior. However, de Castellan does not write her letters with paper and ink. She uses golden laces and colored gemstones instead. Her latest effusion, titled Dearest Dior, comprises 77 pieces which once more prove Dior Atelier's technical prowess in crafting diaphanous laces, fluid ribbons, and guipure out of 18-carat gold interspersed by diamonds. Particularly striking are a series of chokers, each set with a single hazelnut-sized colored gemstone, conjuring up images of Marie Antoinette, who was often portrayed wearing a ribbon around her neck. De Castellan also introduced some elongated rings that feel as soft as a piece of lace, tied around the finger, with the unique glitter emanating from diamonds or colored sapphires. If Monsieur Christian Dior could answer Victoire's letters, he would undoubtedly answer, bravo. Eclectic, opulent, and audacious, Bulgari's Mediterranean is a kaleidoscope of high jewelry wonder. Bulgari takes us on an imaginary voyage across the Mediterranean Sea. We are transported through time and space by the dazzling Mediterranean high jewelry and watches launched in Venice in June 2023. At the crossroads of civilization and the great trade routes of the Renaissance world, Venice has a rich history reflected in the opulence of the Mediterranean jewels. In Venice, liberal ideas flow in with the tides and art reaches new heights thanks to enlightened patrons and the great wealth generated by the sea merchants. Channeling this spirit, Bulgari chose the magnificent Palazzo Soranzo van Axel for the launch. 
The Mediterranean is a kaleidoscope of gemstone creations that brings together three themes of Southern Radiance, Roman Splendor, and East Meets West. Lucia Silvestri, Bulgari Jewelry. Creative director is not one to shy away from infusing jewels with strong emotions expressed in bold colors, daring tonal combinations, and exaggerated volumes. She says of the collection, this high jewelry collection is a homage to the Mediterranean beauty and essence in all its forms. For me, being in the Mediterranean region is an awakening of all senses and a real inspirational experience. The architecture, the nature, the people, I am eyeing beauty everywhere, is an inspiring melting pot where many different cultures and societies have mingled and enriched each other over centuries. Our hospitality and open-mindedness are rooted in this history. Boucheron's like a queen. For her final portrait shot by Ranald McKechnie, Queen Elizabeth II appeared with a luminous smile, wearing a pastel azure dress adorned by her signature three-strand pearl necklace. Pinned to her chest are two twin Art Deco aquamarine brooches gifted by her father, King George VI, for her 18th birthday. They were made by Boucheron in 1937 and had long gripped the imagination of Claire Schwann, the house's creative director. This year, Schwanner's longtime fascination has materialized into the high jewelry collection like a queen. Playing with sizes, finishing details, and colored gemstones, the iconic Queen Elizabeth II's brooch becomes the leitmotif of an infinitely transformable, polychromatic collection dominated by diamonds, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and pearls. An innovative cape clasp made of diamonds, rock crystal, and onyx accents can turn into two different types of necklaces, and the pins can be detached and worn as brooches. A leather choker with the extremities held by matching clips is offered with multiple colored straps, while the pins can be worn as brooches and hair clips too. Cindy Chow Black Label Masterpiece X and FM Spring Cardamom Brooches. Asian designer Cindy Chow has magic powers. Her gem-studded flower brooches and diamond-paved free-flowing ribbons have such a tri-dimensional plastic presence that they seem real and turned into precious jewels only by way of some secret wizardry. But the trick is that Cindy Chow crafts jewels starting with a sculpture. This process allows her to attain real-life perfection and securely set the most dramatic stones, such as a 90-carat yellow diamond closing a ribbon made of nearly 3,000 diamonds. <laughs> <laughs>